Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. It's time now for The Last Word with Stephen Brunt. Uh, Stephen, I'm going to jump right into this because uh, this is a really uh, interesting person we're going to talk about here. Uh, a lot of times, uh, NBA assistant coaches uh, don't get too much press, but Becky Hammond, uh, the first female NBA coach, uh, maybe you could just tell the viewers just a little bit about her and how that all uh, came about. Well, she's a great player to start with, one of the best players. I, I, she was a great college player. She had a long and distinguished career in the WNBA. She's actually really interesting, a bit of a, a, bit of a rebel, too. She's an American, uh, born and bred in America, but was shut out of the American Olympic program and went to Russia, got her Russian citizenship, and played for Russia in two Olympics because uh, she wanted to play for somebody in the Olympic Games. So she is not afraid to break boundaries and to take chances. So She's the right person in a lot of ways for, for what's about to happen. Okay, so a great former player. Uh, she hasn't really proved herself as a coach just yet, but uh, how do you see it all playing out? Well, you know, it's a great organization. You know, it's, she has been around male basketball players. She was in the, uh, the, the shootout at the NBA All-Star Game a few years back. You know, she's a great shooter. Uh, she has a relationship with some of those American, for, with NBA players. She has hung around with some of the guys from the Spurs. Um, but she's going into, you know, what is the model organization in professional basketball, the San Antonio Spurs, and Greg Popovich, a head coach who is unassailable, right? If no one is going to question Greg Popovich's judgment, he does things his own way. He has won championships, multiple championships. Uh, it, they have done things in, in a way that is, I say, you know, really the model for everybody else in the league. So if you're going to go in as an assistant coach to coach men in the National Basketball Association, I'm not sure there's a better place you could be than in San Antonio. I mean, you spoke of Greg Popovich, obviously an amazing coach, and yeah, what he says goes. So then are, is there a little bit of credibility to people that might say that this is a bit of a publicity stunt? Yes, yeah, that's, that's the thing with Popovich. He doesn't do publicity stunts. He hardly does publicity. You know, he doesn't do interviews. <laughs> He's not that kind of guy. So, okay. And it's not that kind of franchise. You know, the, the, the Spurs are about winning. They're not, it's not a flash franchise. They don't need to go out and sell tickets. They don't need gimmicks. They've got all those trophies. That's, that's what they're about. Um, he's, it, when Greg Popovich brings in Becky Hammond, it's because he thinks she has a great basketball IQ that she knows the game. He thinks she can relate to the players and talk to the players and deal with, with male athletes, but it's mostly about her basketball knowledge. So, you know, there's a, there are places that if she'd shown up, you would say, this is a gimmick, they're trying to attract attention. Right. They, they need it, not in San Antonio. So then I gotta ask you, why hasn't it happened before? I mean, even you see in the WNBA, you know, I would say maybe a majority or at least half of the coaches are male, even mm -hmm. in the WNBA. Uh, why hasn't this happened before? And, and also, what are the challenges she's gonna face? Well, there is a ceiling, you know, there's a kind of, there has been a glass ceiling for women in coaching. You know, Nancy Lieberman coached in the, in the D League a little bit, in the Development League. Um, there have been, I think there's one other woman who was an assistant coach on kind of a volunteer basis. Um, but as you said, in, even in mainstream, in, even women's basketball at the highest level in, uh, in college, there has been a bit of a glass ceiling for women trying to move up that ladder. Uh, the challenges, I, I guess, relating to male athletes, you know, it is a, mm -hmm. the men's game is a different game to a degree. You know, they're bigger and stronger. They play more, they play above the rim. Women don't play above the rim. So it's a different game, but a lot of the X's and O's in basketball translate. Well, it's, it's great to have her, and it's a, it's a right step in the, in the right direction. Uh, thanks, Stephen, for joining us and shining a light on this. We'll see you next week. Thanks, Wilder.